Hi, I'm Anupama Chopra and you're watching Perfect Strokes. What does it take to tell a true story? How does a filmmaker blend fact and fiction? Meghna Gulzar has directed three films based on real life stories, Talwar, Razi and the upcoming Chapak. On this show, she tells us how she dramatizes facts responsibly and keeps her eye on the truth. It's just the quality of the story. It's not the genre of whether it's true life versus fiction. Um, it just so happens that coincidentally all three are true life stories. But I think the common factor is that they've been very engaging stories, very compelling stories. And they've um, kind of grabbed me from the moment I got to know about them. And I think for me, that is the key point in selecting a story that I want to tell. I don't try to fit them into a format. I try to tell the story as honestly as possible to the original story. And if it lends itself to song like Razi did, there will be songs. If it doesn't lend itself to songs like Talwar didn't, there won't be songs. I don't add fiction. I try and keep it as factual as possible. Uh, dramatization, yes, uh, that's where your tools of screenplay come in. Uh, where we'll probably juggle the timeline of the story. But uh, apart from that, um, the core facts of the, of the true story, of the original story are not tampered with at all. I don't embellish the truth. Um, I just try to say it as aesthetically as possible. Um, fortunately for us, um, the medium of cinema has so many arts uh, along with us at our disposal, whether it's cinematography, whether it's costume design, production design, hair and makeup design. And so we use all these arts um, together to tell the story as visually uh, uh, engaging a way as possible. And um, that's the only um, kind of supplement that we use to tell, I use to tell a true story, um, to try and make it as visually engaging as possible. And of course, uh, dramatizing the screenplay to make it as engaging as possible. Apart from that, I don't let myself take too many liberties with a true life story because the the responsibility of true life is tremendous and it's one that needs to be carried with a lot of integrity. Um, I think the research itself made it very clear that um, there is no one perspective that you can go with on this story. It was very important to tell both sides of the story, the, the side of the police and the second CBI team and the side of the parents and the first CBI team and then kind of leave it open uh, for interpretation because honestly even we don't know uh, what really happened, what really played out. All we could do was present the facts that were out there in the public domain of both perspectives. And um, once we knew that, again it was a matter of um, telling the story in the most engaging way possible which was dramatizing the screenplay but surprisingly for Talwar, um, the flow of events, the way it actually happened, was so dramatic um, that there was very little to do in terms of screenplay to to, to, to dramatize it further, actually. I mean, you're, you're speaking about uh, real events, real people, uh, whether they are living or they are deceased. Um, it's very important to respect their, um, their being and their entity. Um, whether they are guilty, innocent, wrong, right, that is not for us to judge. The fact that you are telling their story uh, means that you need to uh, approach it with a certain um, respectability and a certain integrity. At least that's the approach I take. I would not want to pick up a story on a real event or a real person um, only to denigrate them. I think that's... that's um, I, I don't find it. I don't find that right. I think it's futile to do that. And uh, why would you tell a story about somebody only to slander them? Um, it's, it's better to use the craft uh, and the energies of so many people that goes into making a film into something far more positive and productive. Um, so that's what I uh, try to do. Mm -hmm. 
I don't think I'm as um, experienced or as uh, you know as senior in in the business to be giving advice, but um, I can only say what I do, the practices that I follow, is that um, keep your eye on the truth and um, try to be faithful to that, loyal to that as much as possible, because that integrity will show through. Um, the intent of the maker, the intent of the people behind the film always shows through in the film. I, I believe that to the core and uh, that's what I try to keep with all my films. I try to keep the intent uh, as pure and as honest as possible.